everyone and welcome to day nine of the 30 day tidying challenge. This is a challenge that I created a couple of years ago based on Marie Kondo's The Life Changing Magic of Tidying Up. The update for day nine is going to come right now at the beginning of the video and today we'll be tackling CDs and DVDs. Did very well in this area and I had no clutter rebound. Hubby and I actually haven't been watching any of our physical DVDs or listening to our physical CDs and we haven't in ages and ages. We basically stream everything now or we'll buy the digital copy. You'll see in the footage that I mentioned Spotify, we actually don't even subscribe to that anymore because we found we weren't listening to a lot of music anymore. Now Hubby and I have been really into listening to podcasts together so that's been a lot of fun and maybe the next iteration will be something else. So I love that um, subscribing to something, it gives you the flexibility to change and that to me is a really good thing. So rather than buying the physical item and having to declutter it when you're over it, we can subscribe to what we're interested in and then if our interests change, we can unsubscribe without having a lot of clutter remaining in our lives. That is the main update for today. Now let's jump right into the footage from two years ago day nine of the 30 day tidying challenge. We're starting the huge category that's going to take us from today, day nine, all the way to day 29. And that is the general miscellaneous category or the komono category. Today on day nine, I'm going to be tackling CDs, DVDs, video games, and software. CDs and DVDs are very similar to books in that you pick up each one to see if it sparks joy, but Marie Kondo strongly advises not listening to any of the music or watching any of the DVDs. When I do this category today, I'm also going to keep in mind for the DVDs, the titles of the DVDs that I keep. Very much in line with day seven when we talked about the titles of books and having these titles essentially be a manifestation of what you want in life, I'm going to look at my DVDs in the same way. Hubby has his own set of DVDs that are kind of uniquely his even though we share them of course. So those I am not going to touch. I'm going to set them aside for him to go through in his own time and he can make whatever decision he wants regarding those DVDs. I'm not going to pressure him either way to let go of or to keep any of the items. We don't have a lot of video games or software, so the majority of the items that I tackled today were in the CDs and DVDs category. I found this pretty easy to do. As soon as I picked up an item, I pretty much knew right away whether or not it sparked joy, and I was able to let go of the majority of my CD collection. I haven't listened to any of my CD in years. We basically rely on Spotify now and we stream all of our music. Hubby subscribes to it so it's very easy for us to just play what we want on demand. Knowing that, I feel like I shed a lot of my high school self. The theme for the past two days has been shedding my past selves and I feel like I really did that today because most of my CD collection was gathered in my high school and early university days. I remember agonizing over a decision to buy a CD and eventually I built up quite a collection and now I am letting it all go. The only CDs that I'm really keeping are from my favorite singer and songwriter, Tori Amos. I was going to pare down and keep only a select few, but I just couldn't bring myself to do it at this point in time, so I ended up keeping all of the CDs that I have from her. I have a lot of her full-length CDs as well as her singles. For a long time, I was trying to collect them all, but but it is nearly impossible because artists put out so much creative material now. But I do want to keep the collection that I currently have, so I am hanging on to it for the time being. In terms of DVDs, I had let a lot of mine go in the past, but I'm still letting go of a huge chunk. I'm very proud of myself in this area. I'm keeping a select few. I love Sex and the City, so I'm hanging on to all of the seasons as well as the two films. There are just a few others that are really cute and sweet that I like to rewatch from time to time, so I'm hanging on to those as well. The majority of our DVD collection is now my hubby's, so he still has a lot of different sets and such, and I did buy him a lot of these. I don't know if he's going to be able to let them go. He's still not at that stage where he's 
able to let stuff go. I think he grapples a lot with whether or not to hang on to something or to let it go, but I'm just so happy that he is entertaining the process now and he's going through his things that I'm not going to put pressure on him either way. If he wants to keep something, I'm not going to say anything, and if he wants to let something go, by the same token, I'm not going to say anything, even if I bought it for him. And this is something, as I mentioned before, that I really wanted to stress to him is that material things don't matter and that I'm okay if he wants to let something go that I bought him. I'm not going to be hurt, I'm not going to be offended because I know that that attachment to that material thing isn't healthy if it's not something that brings him joy. So hopefully he will be able to downsize his collection, but if not, I'm going to grin and bear it. I'm so proud of hubby and me. This is the majority of what we'll be letting go of. Pretty much all of my CDs as well as a good chunk of our DVDs. Hubby is hanging on to quite a few box sets and the like, but if they spark joy, then that is perfectly fine. This isn't even all of the DVDs and Blu-rays. Hubby took a select few to see if he could sell them at this little used DVD shop that is on his way home. We also got rid of a lot of old um, computer discs as well, but we just ended up um, letting those go. I'm not showing them in this segment. I am so happy to have all of this out of our big wall unit and that frees up a lot of space for us to either leave empty or to store other things. I'm going to move on to the next category tomorrow, which is going to be... oh. <laughs> oh no. We're going to be going through stationary school supplies and office supplies. Tomorrow is going to be huge and very, very difficult for me. It is very hard for me to let go of stationery, especially notebooks and the like, but we will get through it. I know we will. Thank you so much for watching day nine. I will see you tomorrow on day 10. Please let me know down below how you're doing. I know a lot of you have read the life-changing magic of tidying up and you've gone through the Comorie method yourself. So please let me know down below how it went for you. Even if you're not tidying alongside me, I would love to hear how it went for you when you went through the process, as well as any tips and tricks that you have to share, especially for this kimono category, which I am essentially tackling for the first time. I've done bits and pieces here and there, but I've never tried the full method on all of these categories sequentially, day after day after day. Please feel free to give me your advice. I would love to hear some of it. I will be back tomorrow with the next episode of this tidying challenge. Until then, please take care and bye for now.